And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel where we talk about anything related to comic books. So Deadpool and Wolverine was just released and I wanted to tell you my thoughts on the newest addition in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But it's pretty early and not many people have watched the movie, so don't worry, this review will be 100% spoiler free. And I hope we can keep the comments spoiler free too. So with no further ado, let's start. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go. Deadpool and Wolverine is the movie everyone has been waiting for, mostly because of the return of Hugh Jackman who finally wears his iconic yellow and blue suit. It's directed by Sean Levy and in the movie Deadpool, played by Ryan Reynolds, is trying to save his universe from extinction and to do so he needs the assistance of Wolverine. Wolverine becomes his reluctant partner in fighting two common enemies, Cassandra Nova, played by Emma Corrin, and Paradox, played by Matthew McFadden. Of course, I'm not revealing anything else because I want to avoid spoilers. Starting off with everything I found great in the movie, from the very beginning you can feel it's a Deadpool movie. It's fun, ridiculous, gory, and there's of course his usual fourth wall breaking. The dialogues are quite well written and all the jokes land perfectly. The pacing is ideal, making a two hour long movie feel like five minutes, because of how constantly entertaining it is. Ryan Reynolds once again does an amazing job as the merc with the mouth, and Hugh Jackman proves he's still the best at what he does. Emma Corrin's performance is excellent, making Cassandra Nova feel like an actual threat that really creeps out viewers during certain instances. We also get some great character development, mainly for Wolverine, who feels like a completely different person by the end of the movie. And I'm saying it as a good thing, you'll know when you see it. The film also manages to balance goofiness and emotion, taking a more serious approach at some parts, which is great, because it's not a Deadpool movie, it's a Deadpool and Wolverine movie. As far as the fight scenes are concerned, they are probably some of the best I've seen in the entire MCU, with a really clever use of all of the characters' powers and unique abilities. Now about the thing that probably concerns most of you, yes, there are plenty of cameos and easter eggs. The way all of them are revealed is really smart, and they actually have a purpose in the story and aren't just plain fan service. The character that got the best treatment is actually one of my personal favorites and I was really glad to see him in the movie. Of course I can't tell you who this was, but I'll give you a hint, I have made a video about him. And in case you were wondering, yes, Wolverine's suit works perfectly in live action and I can't believe we had to wait 24 years for this. Of course, no movie is perfect and this one had its flaws. The most obvious one was its story that was a bit weak and didn't follow a fixed approach, if you know what I mean. It was like they went in one direction and then turned around to do an entirely different thing that didn't matter or make that much sense plot-wise. But I guess that's just how Deadpool movies are. And it oftentimes becomes hard to follow for the average viewer that doesn't have prior knowledge of every single character in the film, so the cameos can't have as much impact to them. Of course, if you're a comic book nerd like me, not only will you love the cameos, you'll want to scream like crazy, but that doesn't apply to everyone. Something else I thought needed improvement was the villain's motives. I think we needed a bit more focus on their backstories and their actual motives for their actions. And since this is the first X-Men movie produced by Marvel Studios, and not Fox, you'd expect more connections to the MCU, but this movie only made use of characters from the Fox movies. Personally, I didn't mind that at all, because it's obvious they wanted to make it seem more like a goodbye to Fox and not that much another MCU feeling. After all, not every movie has to be an advertisement for the next project, right? Apart from this, another issue was probably the CGI that was really bad at times, and certain performances that were just okay. Taking all this into consideration, it's pretty clear the movie had many strong points, but it's kinda held back by its sake story, so a fair rating would be about a 7 out of 10. However, it manages to keep you entertained without losing interest for 2 hours, while also serving as a huge love letter to the fans. So I'm completely biased, but as a fan that was blown away by the attention to detail and the evident love for the source material, I really want to give it a 10 out of 10, so let's go for an 8 so as to keep everyone happy. Well, this was my review of Deadpool and Wolverine. I hope you found this video helpful and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button and allow all notifications. And please, if you've watched it, tell me what you think about the film in the comments. Just avoid posting spoilers because some people haven't watched it yet. So, until the next time, goodbye true believers!